What's up, sons? It's Blind Dog with Sound of Tech. Once again, today I have yet another mining video for you. And we are going to be mining Ravencoin. This how to will be showing you how to mine Ravencoin on Windows 10 with either AMD or NVIDIA GPUs. We can cover it as far as mining with Linux or Hive OS and or Hive OS in another video. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. We did briefly cover it in our GTX 1063 gigabyte mining video. And some of the reasons you might want to mine Ravencoin is going to be that the ETH DAG will be going past four gigabytes soon. Now, while there will be the LOL miner that's supposed to resolve this issue for mining ETH on four gigabyte cards, they do not have a solution for three gigabyte cards yet. So if you have something like a 1063 gigabyte, this is going to be your option. Now the DAG on Ravencoin will be going above of course that three gigabytes as well so keep that in mind you'll have to look for other options maybe ethereum classic which we can cover in another video because they just decrease their dag size but that aside all that aside let's hop into it so to mine ravencoin the first thing you need is going to be a wallet while you can mine directly to an exchange which includes things like binance crypto.com atomic wallet and all of these options that will be linked down below with all your wallet options. We are gonna be covering the Windows wallet. So on your desktop downloads, you're gonna go ahead and find the Windows option and click download. Once downloaded, it will tell you that it is blocked because it could harm your device. This is going to be true with every crypto application right now and you need to keep in mind that because of this it could have a virus i highly recommend keeping everything that you mine with on a separate network network from your primary network or a network that has anything to do with any financial information also wouldn't recommend doing it on a device that you do any shopping on and so on and so forth just in case to be safe because you are going to have to click the ellipses and click keep once you do that it's going to make you do it one more time and say keep anyways and at this point it should finally allow you to click show in folder so now that you're in folder we're going to go ahead and double click the application it's going to say are you sure you want to run it you're going to click more info it will give the option to run anyway and then we're going to run anyway. It is a standard Windows compiled installer. So at this point, the executable will go through the install process as you click through next and install to the default location. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and run the Raven core. Alrighty, so once it opens up, you're going to go down to the bottom here and click hide. Don't worry, it's going to show you your progress for syncing the block down here at the bottom still. Keeping in mind that you will not see a reflection of your balances until the block is completely synced. This would be a little bit different if you were mining directly to an exchange, which is also not advisable because if you mine directly to an exchange, depending on how the exchange handles its wallets, in a lot of cases it's a master wallet, uh, you may lose some of your mining rewards. I recommend just to be safe to use this. If you guys need a guide on how to get your money, of course, out quickly or into an exchange and transfer it into something that you can spend money on like BTC. We can go over that in a different video. I highly recommend checking out Crypto.com, uh, which I will have my affiliate link down in the description below. You can go ahead and check that out. That being said, the next thing you're going to want to do is click the receive tab, make a mining label so you know it's coming from your miner, click request payment, and at this point it will give you a address so you can go ahead and click copy URL I like to open up a notepad boom and just paste that mining address right in here making sure you remove the little colon beforehand and of course the little label after it should just be the address that looks like that all right so now that we have our address we are going to move on to the mining software. The mining software we're gonna be using today is NB Miner version 34.4. It does have current support all the way up to the latest graphics cards from NVIDIA as well as the latest graphics cards from AMD, that being the RX 6000 series and the RTX 3000 series. And so you should have support all the way down as far as any GPU that's released currently, which is super good news. You're going to be looking for the 
NB minor 34.4 win.zip. There will be a link to the GitHub release page down below. You're going to click it and it will download it down into the bottom here. Once downloaded, you'll click the ellipses and click show in folder. And you can see here that we have it downloaded. Feel free to move this to where, whatever directory you prefer, but for ease of use, we're just going to be extracting it straight here into the downloads folder. We're going to right click and say extract all with the built-in extractor in Windows 10. If you prefer 7-zip or WinRAR, I assume you already know how to utilize those applications and you should, should be straightforward. At this point, we're going to open the NB minor folder and we're going to scroll down and find the batch file named start underscore raven dot bat. Now, if you don't have the extension here of the bat and it's just showing the start underscore raven, you will need to go ahead and go into Cortana and look for file explorer options. And then in file explorer options, you will click the view tab and you'll scroll down and uncheck the box for hide extensions for known file types. Click the apply button and click OK. What that's going to do is allow you to change the .bat here um, or if you built a custom one that was a text file, it would allow you to rename it. Luckily, these are all here and kind of set up already for you. This is where we're going to input the rest of the information that we need to start mining. We're going to go ahead and right click and say edit. It will tell us that it's protecting our PC again. We'll click more info and run anyways, and it will open a notepad. Now, this is where we are going to enter that wallet address that we obtained earlier. So we're going to open the notepad that we copied the wallet address to. We're going to do a control C, or you can do a right click and copy. We're going to highlight the address that is by in here by default. We're going to right click and say paste. Once we've done that, we can also name our rig after the period here to whatever we prefer. I'm going to call it RX6800. And then we want to modify our server that we're going to be mining to or the mining pool server address. For this particular case, I recommend two miners. It's where I've had the most luck for mining Ravencoin. You have options for Europe, USA, and Asia. Pick respectively that's closest so that you have the uh, best connection to, of course, the mining pool. You're going to highlight it and click Control C. Only use the bottom one here, 6161, if you are actually mining from, uh, renting hash power from NiceHash. At this point, we're going to go back to the text document that we have the batch file configuration in. And we're going to just do control V once again to paste that over uh, the default server address or default mining server address. Now, what I did notice here is this is actually incorrect because this mining address is using stratum. So to find that, we're going to go ahead and click in. Let's see, where would this be? Yep, we're going to click in over to here and find our settings for NB minor. And you'll see here that we have the option right here. So we're going to go ahead and highlight and control C. We're going to go back, repeat the same process. And now we have the stratum plus TCP with the server uh, for the mining pool added in. We're going to go ahead and click file and save. And at this point, we should be able to run the batch file and start mining Ravencoin. So we're going to go ahead and double click it. It's going to go through the process. You can see here that we have a RTX 3070 in this rig along with an RX 6800. And we'll go over the numbers here in just a tad. Okay, right off the bat, we're not getting terrible hash rates. It's pretty good actually. On the 3070, we have 25 mega hash a second. And on the 6800, we have 29 mega hash a second. I can already tell you that if you max out the memory overclock on the 3070, it'll bring it up to that 29 mega hash a second. That being said, we use default numbers for comparisons in our benchmarking charts. And let's discuss that. So coming up here is going to be a chart that compares all of the GPUs together based on their hash rate versus their power consumption. Your goal here is going to be finding the GPU that basically has the two lines closest together. 
And what that means is basically it has the highest hash rate with the lowest amount of power consumption. On this chart we have the RX 5500 XT and with that we have 13 mega hash a second at 121 watts. On the RX 5600 XT we have 20 mega hash a second at 119 watts. On the 5700 XT we have 27 mega hash a second at 210 watts. On the RX 6800, as you can see here, we have 29 mega hash a second at 192 watts. The RTX 3070, which comes in at 25 mega hash a second with 219 watts. And finally, the GTX 1063 gigabyte, which is the only other card that I have currently testing at nine mega hash a second at 135 watts. Now, on the GTX 1063 gigabyte, I will note that it will get down to about 60 mega hash a second at nine watts. And all of the overclocking is going to be, you know, mileage may vary. And we will have separate videos for separate GPUs on overclocking individually for Ethereum probably first and then Ravencoin later. Let me know which GPUs on this list you're most interested in for overclocking for Ravencoin specifically. So finally, the question that always comes up for me is how do I see what my mining is doing? And that's actually pretty straightforward to go ahead and do. Remember that wallet address that we got? Well, we're just going to want to go ahead and copy it and then head on over to the pool. This one is going to be rvn.2miners.com. At the top, you'll see a miner address and you're going to press control V and click search. At this point, we have no miner data because we haven't been mining long enough. But how, however, once you've been mining long enough, what it will show you is your mining data. And it will tell you how long you have till a payout, as well as give you uh, an idea of what your hash rate or reported hash rate on the pool is, so on and so forth. This is the same for all pretty much coins and mining any coin. You will have to meet the minimum payment threshold before a payout ends up happening to your wallet. So basically what it ends up looking like is you'll have a little bit of money in the pool and once it hits the payment threshold, you will get a payout that will then reflect in the overview of the Ravencoin wallet that we set up earlier. To send Ravencoin to, of course, your uh, exchange and so on you can click the send tab enter the ravencoin address and we can cover that up or follow the, this video up with uh, the basically how to sell your crypto in a different video as we get to it but this is going to wrap today's video up so thanks everybody for watching i hope it was helpful be sure to leave a like comment down below and then also let me know what more or additional content you would like to see revolving around cryptocurrency and we will get it done i found the quite basically i have found uh ravencoin results on the latest gpus to be quite interesting uh, especially on the rx 6800 kind of taking the lead there over the rtx 3070 which is something that I did not expect, but seems to be a pattern that we're starting to see uh, here recently with the latest GPU releases, meaning what we are seeing because of the smaller memory bandwidth on the RX 6000 series, yet a higher core clock on the RX 6000 series, that we've had a role reversal in performance on both NVIDIA and AMD. And I'm putting together a huge Excel spreadsheet with more charts coming on multiple algorithms, so stay tuned. I'll see you next Tuesday.